Hello, so this is how you feed the cat. Uh, first and foremost, you have to wash the cat bowl. This is uh, raw meat, so uh, very important to always make sure that her bowl is clean before she eats out of it. And to wash it in the bathroom sink. Definitely not in the kitchen sink. And if it's got some gunk covered on it, you can just let it sit here for a couple of minutes. It's not too bad right now. Okay, so then I'm going to go put this sponge on top of the little red fridge and I'm going to put the bowl on top of the trash can lid and then I'm going to come back and wash my hands before touching anything else. Okay, so next I'm going to get out the cat food. So the cat food is kept in this fridge. It's the smaller one. And it's in this bottom compartment here. Okay, so you take out one of these and put it on the trash can and then take out this one this is the chicken broth and also put it on the trash can and then uh, let's see we're actually going to take this with us so um, so you can actually disregard this part um, but, uh, okay and then close the door Okay. And so there's a special spoon that I use to feed buckles. And it's this spoon right here. Um, definitely do not use any other spoon because this spoon has been dipped in raw meat. So it has to be this one. Okay. So then I take this food, just open it, and it's about a spoonful, like, so roughly about this this much, and then I just put that in there, 
and then um, you'll see that there's the, the blood from the meat here, and I just sort of drizzle it a little bit. Kind of like a plate, but they're also a bowl. Okay. I'm going to close that up. And then you take the chicken broth. Oh, we will definitely get those. And you just take, let's see, this is actually still frozen, so um, if it's frozen like this, then um, don't try to hack away at the ice, just try to pour any liquid, there's a little bit of liquid in here, just to try to pour that into the bowl. It is possible that she could throw up sometime during the week if she does, don't worry about it unless you see it for like two days. Sometimes she'll just wolf her food really fast. Okay, so the last thing before I start cleaning We're things up and putting them away her, is you know, she's had stuff twice and I just take the last time I take this freeze dried chicken. The first time she and uh yeah, cool. Uh, just a few pieces. Like um, maybe about do, uh, like four or five or something. It doesn't have to be exact. And just like leave them in the bowl. Okay. So then I take like the cat bowl. The and actually, before I do that, I'm going to sanitize my hands real quick, just because um, you have to touch, because I, I have to touch my phone after touching raw meat. Okay, so I take the cat food, and I go into the, um, the bathroom. And I pull up this lever on the sink so that it'll stop the water. Make sure that it's pulled up tight. And then turn the hot water on. And I run that until it gets to be about half full. So I It's a little less than half full, but this is okay too. And I just sort I just put the cat food in like that and I just kind of let it sit there. And then uh, I wait for 10 minutes for that. And so after that's done, you're going to want to um, sanitize, uh, want to sanitize your hands again. Okay. Then put the, um, the food back in the fridge compartment that we got it out in. So that's the bottom drawer of the smaller fridge. And don't touch the rest of the fridge with me. Yes, definitely wash, sanitize your hands between each thing that you do. Okay. okay, and then once the 10 minutes is up, you want to wash the spoon with only this sponge that's up here on top of the little red fridge. And do not mix that sponge with the other sponges in the house, otherwise you will spread meat germs everywhere. Yes. That sponge goes on top of that little fridge and nowhere else and is to be used for nothing except for cleaning the cat dishes. And once the meat is done soaking, you take 
the uh, the bottle that says hand sanitizer. It's um, with the black tape on it. It's uh, peroxide and you just spray it all over the sink area and then you want to spray down the trash can. Okay, so that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'll send you another video later about how to do the cat litter.